Hello everyone and welcome to my cozy corner. My name is Miss Althea and I have big feelings sometimes. There are days when I'm happy and then there are days that I am jubilant and ecstatic and excited and overjoyed and so splendiferous that I need to make up words to show how great I feel. And then there are times where I'm sad. Times when I'm too sad to talk about it. When I feel all deflated and empty like a balloon inside. Sometimes I don't feel anything at all. I bet you can think of a time when you felt so full of a feeling that you maybe didn't know what to do. And maybe when that happened, someone told you to take a deep breath and just relax. But what does that really mean? Breathing is something we all do. We don't usually have to think that much about it. When our hearts speed up and beat faster, we breathe more quickly. My heart speeds up when I think about pie and game. It definitely beats harder when I'm on my walks and I decide to try and run a block. And then it needs two more blocks later to slow down to get back to its normal pace. It practically jumps out of my chest when the cats startle me or if I'm watching something scary that I get spooked. And my breathing changes along with this heartbeat. No matter what's causing it to be differently, fast or slow, my body and my breathing change with it. Sometimes I can tell why this is happening or what's causing it, like when I'm running or when I'm startled, but other times I can't. Sometimes I get so caught up in feeling a big feeling that it's hard to notice anything else. And remember, big feelings aren't always bad feelings. You can get caught up in feeling so good and excited that you forget to breathe, just like you can when you're sad or scared. Now, depending on what your big feeling is, you may not like being told to just take a deep breath and relax. It may seem like the person who's telling you this is not listening to you, is not hearing what your big feeling is, and is not being helpful at all. You may even feel like they're making it worse because now you have to deal with your big feeling and with this person. But I want to tell you that when they say to take a deep breath, they're probably trying to help you. Because when you change your breathing, you can change your heartbeat. And if you can change that, you might be able to take on that big feeling a little bit more easily. You might be able to figure out what's causing that reaction. So whenever someone tells me that I need to take a deep breath, even if I don't like the way they say it, or I really don't think I need to, I will try. But instead of just taking a deep breath, whatever they mean by that, I take what I like to call a star breath. Yeah. There are different ways that you can practice your breathing. And these different ways cause your body to feel and act differently. So that's why we're trying this here in our cozy corner. Before we learn more about star breath, I want to remind you that the most important thing is that you continue to feel safe. If you start to feel unhappy or uncomfortable or uncozy, I want you to stop this video and take some time to do what you need to do to feel cozy again. I also want to let you know that there's nothing wrong with not liking star breath. This is just one of the ways that you can practice your breathing. Some people use counting or following a light or a shape or listening to someone else telling them to breathe. But I find it easier to think about breathing along with a song. And what's the song that I know really, really well that you might know too? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So I breathe along like this. First I take a deep breath in, then I let it out again. And I repeat this in my head 
while I breathe along. First I take a deep breath in, then I let it out again. I might think about this tune instead of the words. But the words are there if I need them. And I repeat my star breath. Until I feel ready. Now, this is not always easy to do, especially when big feelings are involved. Even grown-ups like Miss Althea have to work on this. And we aren't always successful either. But if we practice, we can get better at it. And the more ready you can be for when things happen outside your cozy corner. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I am so proud of you for trying out something new. Until next time, I want you to remember that you have friends that care about you very much and that you are not alone.